Hi guys! So today I am here to do a review of the Lunar Chronicles. I'm not going to do a wrap up just because most of what I read the month of March was the Lunar Chronicles. I have no self control. So first off I just want to say each of the books in the series, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Fairest, Winter, and Stars Above all have five stars from me. This series is flawless. Book one is Cinder. It is the retelling of Cinderella. She is a cyborg, in case you cannot tell from the metal gears and joints within her leg. Kind of a dead giveaway. Read this book. If you like fairy tale retellings, read this book. If you like science fiction, read this book. If you like to read, read this book. In my previous video that I did um, for Top 5 Wednesday, which was least favorite books in your favorite series, Cinder is my least favorite book in the series. However, keep in mind, still has five stars. I still freaking love this book. This book is majestic as heck. Read it, weep with me, move on to the next book, let your life change. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Book two in the Lunar Chronicles is Scarlet, which is the retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, and in my opinion, Beauty and the Beast. I cannot put into words the character of Scarlet. If you follow me on Goodreads, then you will know Scarlet and I here had a very rocky start. I hated her. I thought she was obnoxious. I thought she was quick-tempered, too quick to judge, just a terrible person. Once I started reading the book, it picked up, I finished it, and I loved it, and then I realized why I hated Scarlet so much. I am Scarlet. I am the worst human being in the world, and I am Scarlet. Scarlet's not the worst, though. I mean, I, I love Scarlet. Scarlet's not my favorite, because I can't pick a favorite, I refuse to, because I love them all. But Scarlet is definitely the most like me, so if you read this book and you think Scarlet's annoying, you and I probably wouldn't get along. The next book in the series is Cress, which as you can tell from the spindly diddly do on the cover is a retelling of Rapunzel. That's all hair. Again, this book's amazing. This book introduced the character Cress and built off of other existing characters as does every other book in the series. Cress, the character, is absolutely adorable. She's this naive girl who's been trapped in the sky her whole life and has come crashing down to earth and she's just the sweetest thing she has like the biggest dreams and goals and when you read this if you're anything like me when you're reading this you're just rooting for her you're rooting for what she wants to happen so bad just for the sake of making her happy because she deserves all of the happiness she's such a sweetheart this book was cute I mean, as cute as it can be, given that they're in, like, the middle of a war, but, and, you know, disease and all that kind of stuff. Once you read Cinder, you'll know what I'm talking about. But definitely loved this book. She's a sweetie. She just, she deserves all the happiness that she can get. Five stars. Cress. The next book in the series, though not chronologically the next, next as far as publication goes, would be Fairest. Ferris is the thinnest of the series. Ferris is actually serves as a prologue. It is Lavana, you know, the villain of the series. This is how she came to be. Hate villain justification stories. I hate them. I don't want to sit here and hear about how they had a miserable childhood and, you know, watched a field of puppies go up in flames and that's what triggered their psychotic state. No, I just want to hear that a villain is a jerk. They don't have a reason, they just suck as a human being. As much as that can be possibly true, it happens in Fairest. Yes, there are explanations and maybe insight into why Lavana is the way she is, but when I was reading it, I didn't consider it a justification. I considered it an explanation more than anything else. I loved this book so much. I did not think I would. I was told I wouldn't. I loved it. It has three little tabbies in it. Normally my books have more, but I was out of tabs for a really long time, so I had to like go back through my Goodreads and see what quotes I'd talked about. That's a really terrible way to do that. Don't do that. My favorite line from the entire series is, Love is a conquest, love is a war, 
here is what I think of love. And then, then something terrible, like, follows. That's from Ferris, and I think it is the perfect sum up of the character of Lavana. If she could, like, just get that tatted somewhere, that would be great. Now, the last full book in the Lunar Chronicles is Winter, and this is a Snow White retelling, as you can tell from the apple on the cover. Kind of a dead giveaway, as are all the other covers. Winter is freaking awesome. The character of Winter is so unique to not only the story of Snow White, just within the Lunar Chronicles, her, like, as itself as a whole. Her character is so cool in my opinion. This book was over 800 pages long and took me down a road of mental sorrow and stress that I will never fully recover from. This book was such an amazing conclusion to the story as a whole. Normally I feel like final books within a series always kind of leave you hanging, always kind of leave at least something unanswered. Winter, I think, just was a flawless conclusion. Everything that I wanted to happen, happened, and I was so satisfied, and I don't normally get that out of an ending. Like, everything I wanted to happen, happened, and I cried a lot in the middle of a giant 10-hour car ride with my family. Judgments were made, shame was wallowed in, welcome to my life. Now the last book altogether within the Lunar Chronicles is actually Stars Above and it is a collection of short stories and novellas set within the Lunar Chronicles universe. I have only read I think three so far. I read the first two and then I skipped to one because it is a epilogue to winter and I needed to read it. And this giant smile on my face is for a reason, because it's called Something Old, Something New. So from that title alone, you can gather there is a wedding. I will not say whose wedding. I will say it is the wedding I dreamed of for a very long time. That short story alone has earned this a five-star rating, despite the fact I'm not even done with it. So that was my vague review of the Lunar Chronicles. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Contrary to popular belief, there are still people out there who have yet to read the Lunar Chronicles. I can't believe I put it off as long as I did. I, re I regret putting it off as long as I did because I actually went to a Marissa Meyer signing and I had Cinder signed and I had Winter signed despite having not read any of the books yet and I really really regret it because I could have gotten so much more out of, the, out of that experience but it was still really cool I still have pictures from it I mean I had started Cinder by that point but I mean obviously that wasn't enough to generate the full appreciation that I would have had had I read the series a bit more than I did so anyway I hope you enjoyed this review I hope it inspired you to read the Lunar Chronicles Please excuse all the dish noises in the background if you can hear them. Somebody's doing dishes and they're doing it really loudly. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comments. Be my friend. I love having friends. I will talk to you and see you in the next video. Bye!